I'm I'm very intrigued by this. You're intrigued. You weren't so sure when you first found out about it, but guys, pay close attention. Cheryl Nelson, lifestyle expert and owner of Prepare with Share, such a great name, joins us now with what we all need to know about this deep cleaning hack. Okay, so Cheryl, just break it all down. Full disclosure, Brandon did this at home. It blew my mind, but spell it out for our viewers. What exactly is laundry stripping? Well, first of all, thanks so much for having me on this show. So excited to be here today. So laundry stripping is basically a satisfying way to deep clean items that you didn't know were still dirty. For example, bath towels or bed sheets, even those stinky gym clothes that you can wash in hot water, that can be laundry stripped. So what is it actually doing? Well, believe it or not, when you clean some regular towels, for example, it's not always getting all the gunk. So we're talking about leftover over residue from too much detergent or fabric softener, I'm guilty of that, or maybe putting too many items in the washing machine and you're not rinsing everything out clearly. Also, body oils can get stuck in there. And if you have hard water, some minerals can get stuck in there as well. So this is the blue towel that I decided to laundry strip and it was pretty dirty before. I mean, none of that would come out over and over and over. We would wash it and going, okay, what's going on? Now, granted, we actually use this outside as kind of a work towel that's why there's so much dirt on it but you'll be amazed to see the after picture after I did it okay well it, you say it's easy all we need basically are three ingredients a bucket or like a tub and then something to swirl around with right Yes, I love it, swirl around. So yes, yeah, so you have a tub or maybe a large bucket. Make sure you use hot water because that's gonna start the process to deep clean everything. So what you're gonna do, you have your hot water, you take a quarter cup of borax and you're going to mix that into the hot water. And then you're also gonna get a quarter cup of your washing soda. I love Arm & Hammer. And then finally, a half cup of your deep cleaning laundry detergent. Arm & Hammer here, this is a very good brand that deep cleans everything. And I love the mixture of all of this. The borax is actually alkaline, so it's got the alkaline mineral salts in it. It really helps to boost that deep clean along with your washing soda there. So once you pour all that in, make sure you take your wooden spoon and then you stir it around in the buckets pretty good. Okay. And just make sure you can start to see everything dissolving. And once everything is pretty much dissolved, then you are ready to put in your garment. So it looks like you guys are doing some towels today. Yeah, yeah there's like some hand towels, right? And Cheryl, you spared us because these are not actually very dirty hand towels, but, <laughs> but the idea here is that once you put it in and start mixing, that's the point when, especially like if you have it in a white bucket or a white tub, that's yes. when you're really gonna see all of that gunky, dirty water start uh, turning more and more brown. Is that right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's grossly satisfying if you have a clear bucket, for example, or white where you can really see that grime. You're not going to see it right away, but once you stir that in, put in your towels, so you put in your items, stir those in, and then you have to be patient and you have to let it sit for four to five hours until that water cools. And you do go back and you stir it occasionally, just every time maybe you walk by, but really go about your business. Go outside, go watch TV, go feed the pets, just go do something else. But those are my before and after pictures. So even in that pan, this is the after picture, you can see the water is a little grimy in there and the towel, the blue towel there, is beginning to look more vibrant. So when I was done with it, I have the towel right here. And I think we have an after picture as well that really shows the difference. But it is so much more vibrant, guys. It's softer, it smells good. Have you ever noticed that maybe the gym clothes smell really bad even after washing them? You're going, I don't get it, I washed it. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Look the, at that. There's my before and after. Yeah, How crazy. The is before that? and after is is really remarkable. And I know I think for a lot of people too, if if you have white towels, were you telling me that your towels are white? You don't use them. We do have white. white towels, and you know our dish towels in the kitchen are also white, and those get stained like crazy. And that yes. Cheryl was yes. mind blowing. They right. look brand new after it. Oh my gosh, I know. It's so cool to see the difference. And guys, by the way, when you take everything out of your bucket, so once it's been five hours, make sure you squeeze everything out really good. So you're squeezing out 
all of the ingredients that you put in. And then all you have to do is you just throw it in the washing machine, cold water rinse cycle, just to get all of that out. Then you throw it in the dryer and throw it in there with no dryer sheets. Let that run till it's dry. And then you have your, your fresh clothing there. So it's you got to try it. It's definitely worth it, in my opinion. Absolutely. And how often would you want to do this with your towels? Are we doing this every time we're washing them? No. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, you don't want to do it too much because you can actually start to ruin <laughs> some of your fabrics. Never do this on delicates. Always read the labels. Make sure it can be washed in hot water. Do it maybe once every few months at the least. Not something that you want to overdo. And then be careful, too. Make sure you keep these ingredients away from mm -hmm. children and pets and Try not to put whites with colors that you know are going to bleed because that's not going to end well. We do ours, Courtney, when the white bed sheets start getting brown circles in That's them. when you're ready? That's when we're just oh, about ready. Brown circles? I'm Yuck. kidding, Cheryl. I'm kidding. Thank Yuck. you so much for walking <laughs> us through this. And, uh, wow, that was a lot of fun. And Courtney will try it and follow up at some point. How does that sound? <laughs> That sounds great. Yeah, you guys, you got to put it to the test, Courtney. Lots of fun there. And for more information, you can go to my website, preparewithshare.com. Okay, very nice. Cheryl, thank you so much. And to our viewers, if you would like to connect with Cheryl, you can always visit our website and look for that scene on Houston Life button. I always leave it to you to class it up, Derek. I mean, you know. Just being honest. All the guys out there, they know what I mean. Go on. Okay, now let's check back in with Lauren Kelly, who's having some fun down on the island. Hey, Lauren.